Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. What's in the box, Gorilla? Oh yeah, I got this in the mail today. Who's it from? No return address, just a uh, address to my old pal Dan Classic. What are you waiting for? Open the damn thing up! Alright, keep your goddamn pants on. Greg Brady Migo? What kind of maniac would send Migo? I like Migos, but uh, this one's kind of crap. He does come with this cool tiki thing, though. Well, what are you gonna do with a doll? Well, that takes care of that. Yep, but life goes on, and it's Halloween time. So for our first spooky review, it's Scare Glow from the Masters of the Universe Origins Lines by Mattel. Raz Holly, hit the music! In 2020, Mattel, in an attempt to cash in on nostalgia, revived He-Man and Friends once again for the Masters of the Universe Origins line. The figures have actually been pretty neat. And while they've been easier to find than Hasbro's G.I. Joe Classified, scalpers have taken advantage and made it nearly impossible to get some figures without paying a huge markup. One of those figures is Scareglow. Another late edition figure from the original Masters line, Scareglow is essentially a glowing skeleton man which, come on, how much more do you need to go on? Obviously this is a popular figure, and luckily I was able to snag one, so let's take a look at Scareglow from Masters of the Universe Origins by Mattel. Alright, so new! For 2020 Masters of the Universe Origins Scareglow, Evil Ghost of Skeletor, Modern Posing, Retro Play, most importantly of all, Glows in the Dark, baby. That's why we're taking a look at him, and I believe that's why this figure is so, uh, so desirable so desired so so sought after in the uh, in the community this thing was very difficult to find i actually just pre-ordered it off of a uh, big bad toy store it eventually just kind of came in the mail one day uh once they got it in stock but uh, i've never ever seen one in the wild and um, a lot of those figures, a lot of the figures that aren't He-Man and aren't Skeletor, those individual figures from the first line um, were damn near impossible to find thanks to, um, you know, shipping issues and scalpers and basically a confluence of bullshit that's, uh, that's really kind of put a little bit of a damper on this line for me. Uh, but... I was able to find uh, a scare glow here, and today we're gonna take a look at it, and here he is in the box. Uh, obviously, the Origins line are made to look a lot like, if not be Dead Ringers for their retro counterpart, uh, their vintage counterpart, if you will, from the 1980s. Scareglow was a late edition figure from 1987. Uh, didn't have one growing up. Very cool looking figure though, basically a glow in the dark skeleton man and hey, that's all you need. It glows in the fucking dark, come on now. Modern posing retro play made by Mattel. Let's take a look at the back of the box and we have a picture of a scare glow. A walking horror from a different dimension, Scareglow radiates fear and terrifies his victims. Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures, Masters of the Universe Origins gives you the power to pose Eternia's greatest warriors as retro-style figures or in new action-packed battle positions. Tells you how he glows in the dark. Um, if you don't know how glow in the dark figures work, here is an easy uh, little <laughs> uh, instruction. 
to show you how to do it. Place Scare Glow under a bright light. His skeleton glows in the dark. Actually, the body fucking itself glows in the dark. The skeleton's painted black. Who cares? He-Man, Manny Faces, Orko, Skeletor, Trapjaw, and Scareglow. I actually have all of these figures and uh, we'll be taking a look at them later on. But today we are looking at Scareglow as we turn the, the, the figure back around here. Um, I like the way this packaging looks. I like the way the, the, the figure pops off of the background. I love the background. Obviously, these are made to look just like their, their uh, you know vintage counterparts. Um, I like that you can see pretty much the entire figure um, before you open it up. There's nothing hidden. There's no, uh, in, no, no hidden agendas here. Nothing uh, <laughs> to, to, to hide what this figure is. What you see is what you get. And um, I can't wait anymore. Let's open this goddamn thing up and see what he looks like outside of the box. All right, so here's something I know that we covered before, um, but, but this is what's inside the box. You have the card, you have the bubble, you have the inner bubble, and then you have everything that's tying the figure to the package. He's got little clear rubber bands on his ankles, um, a little clear rubber bands, I believe, all along his arms, on the elbow joints, and um, that might be it, but there's still, there's all this extra trash and waste that didn't really need to be there. Was he gonna, was he in danger of falling completely out of the package or being all jumbled around without these little rubber bands? I don't think so, and it just makes it way more difficult to open up and to get the figure out without um, it breaking apart. Honestly, even though these figures are made to be kind of modular, you can take the arms, heads, legs off and stuff like that, swap them out with the other figures. Um, once you do that enough times, it gets kind of loose and it becomes harder to put them back together, And uh, which is another fucking little problem with these things. But hey, most people don't even fucking open these up. They just leave them in the box because they're booger eaters. But um, I, would, I would still like to see Mattel, which they are one of the big boys and they can afford it to make the packaging right the first time so that um, I don't have to bust out the scissors every time I open up a fucking action figure. All right, so first of all, we have the comic book that comes in the package here. Um, this one is titled Double Trouble, um, more like uh, Quadruple Trouble, because uh, not one, not two, not three, but four figures that came out um, in this series, maybe even more, come with this um, four-page um, epic comic book. Um, comic art looks good. Um, you know, probably a, a pretty neat little comic book. It's pretty awesome. It's neat that they all come with a comic book. What's not neat is that they all come with the same fucking comic book because back in the day, uh, 40 fucking years ago, 30 years ago, however long it was ago, when these figures came out, they all came with an individual comic book, um, sort of introducing the, the individual character, not just a, uh, a mob of them together at once at the same time. So there's that. Okay, so finally we have the figure, uh, Scare Glow, in all his Scare Glowy glory. Um, he is uh, the, the ghost of Skeletor, allegedly, apparently. Um, he has a skull head and the muscular body, the, uh, the claw-like hands and the, the, the claw feet of the evil characters. Um, but he glows in the dark. He has a skeleton sort of uh, painted on in black and he comes with a cape. Um, this one is made of rubber. I, I, I'm not sure what the old one was, if the, if the old one was a fabric cape or not. Didn't have them growing up. Um, this one, the, I like the rubber cape. I like that, you know, it's gonna it's gonna keep its shape. It's gonna be this this shape. It's gonna sit the, the way it's supposed to sit um, while you're, you're using it. It's pretty cool, um, and you can get a lot of cool poses with him. Um, also, he comes with this weapon, um, which has a sort of a reflective glow appearance to it. it doesn't glow in the dark, but you get this thing uh, uh, under a, a black light, maybe it glows. And uh, in, under the right circumstances, it looks like it glows. It looks bright, um, which is pretty cool. Cool neon color 
weapon, whatever. Um, and then, of course, the, the body itself glows in the dark. He glows pretty good. Um, I've checked him out already. He glows pretty good. I'm, I've got some photos of him that you'll see. And, uh, yeah, and, and the, the posability here, we've gone over before on these Masters figures. They're very posable. They've got all the great modern points of articulation that you're, you're looking for in a modern figure, um, except it still has the look of the old school figure. I wish I had an old one to, to compare them to, but I don't. Um, so we, we bring it to the end of the day here. So at the end of the day, um, if you can find this thing at retail, is it worth it? Absolutely. This is a really fucking cool looking figure. He glows in the dark. He's a skeleton man. He comes with an awesome weapon. He's got this badass cape on him. He's fucking really sick looking. And I, I wish the only problem with this thing was is I wish uh, more people were actually able to find them at retail um, easier when they actually came out. That would have been pretty awesome, but uh, yeah. Uh, Masters of the Universe, Origins, Scareglow, pretty fucking cool. Well, that's Scareglow. What did you guys think of this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. Huh? What is this doing here? I thought I threw this away. Well, I didn't touch that doll. Whatever. all for this week. We'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs>